the truth. And let me make some revelations because some of us Pay also have very well. our own intelligence networks. Okay. Okay. We have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders. Listen very careful. One or two who have repented. They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. Mm -hmm. During this lockdown, their planes were moving up and down as though there was no lockdown. Moving ammunition, moving logistics, moving money, and distributing them in different parts of the country. They are already in the south, in the rainforest of the south. Careful. They are everywhere. They I'm told us more that when they finish these rural killings, they will move to phase two. The phase two is they will go into the urban cities, going from house to house, killing prominent people. I can tell you, this is the game plan. By 2022, they want to start a civil war in Nigeria. Don't joke with what I'm saying. I have a PhD from Oxford University. I'm a central banker. We don't talk now nonsense. So don't joke with what I'm telling you. I have this from the highest possible authority, higher possible, higher authorities of some of the commanders of the killers and Boko Haram. You, you, said, you said northern governors, past or present, Dr. Badaya? No, current, current. Current. No, they said one of them is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. One of them. And they are not looking for money. They have more than enough money. In fact, he told me they just came back from, from uh, one of the Middle East countries in private jet full of ammunition and dollars. Did they tell you, no, Dr. Badaya, why they would want to cause civil war in 2022? Yes, so that they can continue in power. Yes. Hello, great people, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom and great people all over the world. I am back again today. You are joining once again IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. I am Mazi Okenna Okechuku, known as Pierre French Child, Washineke, the general. My great people, I hope we're listening to this voice. Of course, this is Obadiah Malafia, a former deputy CBN bank. You understand, Margaret people? This, was, this video was two years ago, and we were here when this man was uh, saying all these things. And do you people know the shocking moment? This man, after he made this expose, this man couldn't last. They just tied him. They send this man early grave. Now you begin to understand what I'm talking about. You know, my last video, I mentioned Obadiah. And I waited for a while for this video that I did to come down before I will bring the video of Obadiah. Of course, I know a lot of you people have saw this video of Obadiah. But today we are going to explain more better so that you will understand what is playing. We are here. We are not going anywhere. We have come to stay. By the time we're done with these people, either they pack their properties and move away, or that thing they are looking for, they will find it. There is no two ways about it. That is why we are here trying to create awareness, trying to tell our people what is about to come. I am the Biafran child. I fear nobody, any bagger. I tell you things the way it is. Because nobody pays me, I pay nobody. But now let me go in details what Obadiah said because we have to understand all these things we have to understand that Obadiah said they have met some commanders I mean some Boko Harams one or two people who has truly repent they truly repent because Obadiah is a somebody that is an intelligent person when he knows somebody repented he knows and they have spoken with these people. They said that one of the governor, one of the governor are their commander 
Of course, a lot of you people will know who is the commander. Now, I'm not talking about sponsor. I'm talking about commander. Underline that one. I want you to underline it because there is difference between sponsor and commander. Now you understand. I will shock every one of you. If you people haven't forgotten, remember that was, I think, last two years or three years when Erufai paid bandit 100 million or 100 billion. I have forgotten it. Uh, it have to be billion or, or million. I think it's million. 100 million. Erufai paid the bandits 100 million. Now begin to understand. Underline that also. Because I want you to understand that it's different between sponsor and commander. Now you understand. And those Boko Haram that they are truly repent said one of the governor is their commander. And I want to take you back again when Erufai paid the bandits 100 million. Now I want you to use your teeth to count, uh, to use your tongue to count your teeth. Who is that commander? Or do you want it to come out from my mind, from my mouth? I want you to judge by yourself because I'm bringing everything plain to you so that you will begin to understand. And Obadiah also said that Boko Haram and Bandit they are same and one. Now you begin to understand it that whenever you hear Bandit. They are terrorists. Whenever you hear yes men, they are terrorists. And now I want you people to pay attention because it's very, very important. We understand every single thing that I'm explaining to you people today because it's very, very important that we know the root of the problem so that we will begin to tackle it. You see, like I told you people, in northern part of Nigeria, all the governors in northern part of Nigeria, they are Fulanese, apart from only four. Begin to use your sense. Obadiah also said they have sophisticated network. Now you begin to understand. Remember when they told you that they have already taken over everything? Like, like Mohammed told you people they are everywhere, they are in police. They are in army. They are in navy. They are in every securities apparatus in that contraption. That is when the Obadiah is telling you or telling us that these people have a sophisticated network. They are everywhere. Now you begin to understand. And he also said, during the lockdown, that is when they were moving the money, logistic, weapon, and rest of them. Supplying it taking over the whole south forest and the bushes now you begin to understand you know the worst part of it the worst part of it that they couldn't allow this man to leave after this man made this shocking moment they take this man early grave but we are telling the man that he so must rest in peace because everything that he said is now here you know, like all oh, my former video, I told you people what Obadiah said. In 2022, they will start a civil war. Now they have started a civil war. Go to Yoruba land now and see what is going on. They are killing, maiming, destroying. Now you begin to understand. But there's something I want our people to understand. As, as quick as we stand on our ground, things will be better. Let me repeat this once again. These people are not up to 5%. I mean to compare with the indigenous of people that find themselves in that contraption. So don't let these people put you into fear. Like I said, one of their commander is a governor. And El Rufai pay these people. I don't want you to, I want you to begin to reason for yourself. Or by yourself, then you begin to understand who are those commanders. When you come in sponsor, I have told you people who, who are their sponsors. When you come in sponsor, I will open it very well for our people to understand. I will break it down for our people to understand 
with a voice note backing it up because I, you see me whenever i'm bringing reality to our people i always want them to feel it and see what i'm talking about i can never fabricate things and begin to this to our people now you begin to understand that these people are coming for conquest these people have a mission and i will keep on repeating who they are these people they are islamics wahhabis slash jihadist terrorists coming for conquest coming for conquest coming to take over your land coming to begin to command you remember what obadiah just said they want to do this to remain in power and when they remain in power, don't think that they're going to remain in power like the way Bugatti is. They are going to remain in power and be in control of that contraption called Dabini Buzu. Are you getting the point? Do you get the point? I want this video to get to people so that they will understand. Obadiah have spoken. May his soul rest in peace. They took his life shortly because he revealed a lot of things and we carry those news by then uh, but i'm bringing this news back again because some of our people we have gullible people they will be telling you it's old, it's old one but 2022 now they are beginning their mission their mission is already there remember they come to abuja for their summit 2022 remember now they went to church and massacre people 2022 remember they go to uh, uh, uh i think uh, uh, uh you see white, white garment church they they they, they pursue them 2022 now you begin to understand it. All the atrocity that is committing, they are committing in 2022. Extorting money in our places. All of them is happening now. Now you begin to understand it. Use your tongue and count your seat. Good day and welcome.